Okay, to wrap things up, we're going to start adding our content to our photo gallery. Now, first of all, you could go and add some photos, but what we want to do first is go and add an album. Now, what this allows us to do is create different albums for our different photos. It's like categories. So you can create an album uh, for whatever subject you like. So I'm going to say Camping 2010, for instance. You can put a description in here. Okay, and then it puts it, this is the directory name it's going to use and the internet address. Let's create. Okay, so there's the album that's been created. Now we can add some photos to that. We can also go and add another album. So let's say Camping 2011. And the same procedure here. Create. Okay, and then what we can do is we can upload photos. So you'll see our gallery selections are across the top here. We have gallery. Okay, and then you can see that when we come in here, we have the different options that pop up. We can edit the album, delete the album, add a photo, add an album, edit permissions, and organize the album. Now up here, we can edit the album, edit permissions for the album. Now remember what I was telling you before, that we can set up user groups, and this is where we can set what we want them to be able to do. Okay, so you can change any of these. If you want registered users to be able to allow them to edit the albums, that's how you do it. And you just click it again, and then they're disallowed. Okay, if you want registered users to be able to add, click, and now the registered users, now the registered users will be able to add. Okay, so this is how you can give permission to different user groups. Okay, and then organize album, we'll put some pictures in here and you'll be able to see this better. But what you can do is you can move the thumbnails around in the album. Okay, so at this point, let's go ahead and add some photos. Okay, so click add a photo. Okay, now you may get this message, can't find FFmpeg on your system, movie uploading disabled. So if you're going to want to upload movies, you're going to have to have this installed on your server. That's what it's telling us now. It can't find FFmpeg. Now there is another option here. If you hit help here and you go down to help and it tells you down here, why does it say I'm missing FFmpeg? Okay, now it tells you here that you can install a module on your system here no FFmpeg and then if you install this you'll be able to upload movies and what this does is it puts a thumbnail on your movies for you you just follow the install instructions down here so basically download it and then copy it into the modules folder log in the gallery website is admin and activate the module just like we did with the other modules okay but, so that's how you do that if you get that error. I'm not worried about that because I'm not uploading any videos. Okay, so let's go back to add a photo. And then you can select photos from your computer. So select, okay, and then find them on your computer. And then you can hold the control key down and you can select five at a time. Okay, and you see them uploading here. Now you can add tags to the uploaded photos here. So, okay, and we wait for that to finish. You see that the fifth one is underneath there. Okay, and then we click done. Okay, and then here is our album. If we click on this now. Okay, so here we are in our album. And when you click on the pictures, 
you'll see that I automatically created the thumbnails. You'll have a next up here and then next and previous. So you can go through them all. And you can also add tags. So you can add a tag to the photo right here. And down here, you can comment or users can comment depending on how you have your comment set up. Now, if you look up here, we can view the full size of the photo. We can view the comments on the item. And here we have a slideshow. So if you click on slideshow, it'll take you through a slideshow of all the photos. Now, if you go up here, you have photo options. You can edit the photo. You can rotate it. We can choose the album cover. Okay, so now if we were to go back to actually gallery, you'll see that it's changed the cover photo. Okay, now just a couple other things here. If we go back to admin and then to settings and comments. This is where you can set who's allowed to comment, everybody or only registered users. And then if we go into comments over here under content, this is where you can approve any comments that people make. It also picks up spam through Acusmed if you've activated that under modules. And in here, we also have our tags. So if somebody adds tags, you'll see them in here. Let's go. And we can add a tag to the photo. Okay, and then back to admin. Okay, and then it shows our tags here. Okay, and then you can garbage them here if you don't want the tags to be there anymore. So if somebody put in a tag you don't like, you can get rid of it here. Okay, now for some reason, our other album didn't show up here. So let's add an album again. And let's put our Camping 2011 in here. Okay, and now let's add some photos. So select and then find some we want to put in here. Tags. Okay, now we click done. Okay, and then here are our photos in this album. If we go back home, here are our two albums. So that's how you get the content on your site. You just add albums, add pictures to your albums, and then you organize your albums.